In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how responsive breakpoints work in Elements. Now, this is really important because it allows you to change the layout, the size of your design on different devices. So here I have my breakpoint set up and you can see I've got mobile and mobile landscape. I've got a iPad view and kind of like a desktop view there. So these are all different sizes and these can be configured in the theme studio and you can have more of these if you want. We're just going to work with these today and you'll notice at the moment my type is the same size all the way up, which while this looks great on mobile, um, I'm thinking as we go up through the sizes, we probably want this text to get larger. So what I can do, I can highlight the text and you'll notice these grey dots here. Now these grey dots do not appear on the mobile breakpoint and this is because we use Tailwind under the hood and that is a mobile first design system. So ideally you want to design at mobile then scale things up. But with this design, which is quite common, I've actually designed it for the desktop and I'm working backwards a little bit. So there's no dots here, but when I go up through the sizes, you'll see them appear. And this is really important because it means I can override these values. So as we go up through the sizes, I can click this blue dot here. And that means when we get to this size, we can change the value. So I'm gonna make my font get a bit bigger. And if we go up to the next size, I'm going to do the same thing again because I want to override this and we'll make that a bit bigger. And then I'm going to go up to my largest size, do this again and set it to 7XL. Now you'll notice when I hover over this, you can see some blue dots will appear in here. And this is to let me know that there are settings have been overridden on this control in those breakpoints. So now when I go back through these breakpoints, you can see the font getting bigger and bigger. And when I scale down, it gets smaller. So it's responding to my changes there. So we can go ahead and do the same here. We'll make this get slightly larger, 3XL, come up a size, 4XL, and then to our largest, we'll set this to 5XL. Now you can obviously do this for other settings as well. We can change the font, the alignment. So if we head back down to mobile, Maybe on mobile, I want my text aligned to the left. And then as I come up through the sizes, as we get to here, I want the text to switch to center alignment. So I can do that and we'll do the same there. So now on these larger sizes, we're center aligned. And then when I when it gets smaller, you can see it goes left aligned. So this is a really powerful way of working. And a lot of these settings are supported throughout Elements UI. You can see here everywhere where there is a dot that we can override the settings. And this is really powerful, especially when you're doing layout with containers and grids and flex. You can change the way things are laid out at different breakpoints. It's really powerful. So that is just a very, very quick look at how the basics of responsive breakpoints work in elements. But it goes far beyond what I've shown you in this video. It's really powerful way to alter your designer, all those different breakpoints. If you have any questions on this, please look at the manual and please visit the forum and ask. Thanks for watching this one and I will see you in the next.